we are on our way to the Great Wall of China. But instead of fighting our way through hordes of tourists, we'll put on snake repellent and explore awe-inspiring, unrestored portions of the wall with our incredible guide, Peter. The Jianko section of the wall is one of the most dangerous portions to hike, but that just made us all the more excited to be there. The Great Wall is over 2,300 years old and is visited by tens of thousands of people every day. But we were completely alone on the wall for the almost five hours we spent hiking. Took a little break to fly the drone, so I'm a little bit more energized. This section of the wall has completely crumbled. Here's the route we're supposed to go is up the side. All right, this isn't so bad. I don't even know how to begin to explain how worth it this is. I have to, when I saw the price, I was a little bit worried, but to have the whole wall to ourselves for hours. Well, see pieces of it that are left alone just to be dealt with by time. So the hike down the mountain starts at the uh, beginning of the Heavenly Ladder. So we're going to go up the Heavenly Ladder, up the Flying Eagle, back across the Flying Eagle, back down the Heavenly Ladder, and then we'll go get the car. The most terrifying portion of this hike is the Heavenly Ladder, which features stairs that climb at an angle of 85 degrees. Yes, you heard me right. That's five degrees less steep than going straight up. I'm really not ready to die. What is your fear level, Justin? None. <laughs> oh. yeah, Stay stable. On. Stay stable all the time. Okay. My whole body's shaking. Holy crap. This is fine. This is fine. I'm fine. This is fine. Justin's fine. Oh my gosh. I'm 
mean, really? I'm using my arms and my legs. <laughs> this is a thing that's happening. We're going down the heavenly ladder. Hug the wall, hug the wall. over my nose is running I am soaked in sweat and that was the coolest thing I think I've ever done in my whole life so this is the path down the mountain right here in front of us we're gonna go grab the car so this hike is gonna be about 25 minutes and then we have a two-hour car ride to where we're gonna camp super slippery it's all slick So I don't know if it's just because I'm coming down from the adrenaline high or what, but um, I am completely overwhelmed with how incredible this has been. I'm just so happy. <laughs> A huge, monumental part of history underneath my feet with no one else there, just me and Justin and our guide. It doesn't get any more special than that. It doesn't get any cooler than that. Also check out how far in front of me they are. <laughs> they are so patient. <laughs> so these are chestnuts. Oh man, I don't think I've ever been so happy to see a car in my life. It's time for dinner. So and the guys are so hungry. <laughs> I'm not hungry, I'm just tired. I will go to bed. All right. Boom. Kung Pao chicken and rice. Yummy. Yummy. Okay, so we also have eggplant with potatoes and green peppers. Cheers. Yum. Cabbage with pork belly in it. Has the flowers in it and tomatoes and eggs. Yeah. I taste exactly how I thought it would. Okay, I'm gonna be a baby. I'm, I'm a child who is letting Justin carry my pack for me. <laughs> Cause he abandoned his pack for tonight. I put brand new batteries in my headlamp before coming here and they are already empty. So I don't know how the heck that happened. I'm using a cell phone like a millennial. <laughs> All right, so this hike is supposedly like 15 minutes. Oh, oh man. There are some other tarps that are in the easy campsite to get to. So we're hiking to the next one. And they have these hills 
And it's like stone that goes up at like a 70 degree angle. And it's wet. I'm doing something. I don't remember what I was doing. I was dealing with my shoes or whatever. And you hear Justin go, hey, Claire. <laughs> I'm paying off the Great Wall of China. <laughs> and I'm like, that sounds magnificent. I need to do that. And the thing is that I don't want to pee on the Great Wall of China. Like, I don't, like, it's the Great Wall of China. I don't want to urinate on it. I, so I'm like, okay, I have to pee off of it too. But as a lady, <laughs> the logistics are a little bit more complicated. So I have to pull down my shorts and then I have to grab on to either edge of this <laughs> window. It's basically this, this archway. <laughs> I have to grab either side of the archway and lean my butt over out as far as I can into the like abyss so that I can assure that all of the pee goes into the ground and not onto the Great Wall of China. <laughs> I'm like sitting here, I'm thinking like, I kind of wish I was filming this. I kind of wish that there was proof that this happened. <laughs> and yet I'm very happy that there's not. I, I really could use a shower. <laughs> We're going to be doing four hours of hiking today. We've only been walking for about two minutes and we're soaked in sweat. I mean, I've got to take off this jacket. Today we are hiking the Huangwuchen portion of the Great Wall of China, and much of the hike is completely covered in dense brush. Peter, our guide, encouraged me to keep my jacket on to protect my arms from thorns and bugs, but it was way too hot and too humid to be comfortable in my rain jacket. Thankfully, I didn't get too scratched up and was actually quite comfortable. It's beautiful. That is quite the caterpillar. <laughs> I know, a bug in your mouth. Oh no. <laughs> This portion of the wall has been restored to a much better condition than the section that we hiked yesterday, so we were able to move much more quickly. I'm so glad we got to experience both portions of the wall. They were so different from one another.
After spending two full days on the Great Wall of China, we weren't left with enough time to go see the more touristy sections of the wall. But I have no regrets about that whatsoever. Just in case you were fooled into thinking we were at the top. Nope. Forget it. That's the top. Yes. Whew. It is downhill from here. Easy peasy breezy. Oh, this is adorable. Pub rinse. Hey, Justin. Tell me about your experience on the Great Wall. It was awesome. Can't wait for a shower. Me too. We have the local rainbow trout, right? And then pork, right? Oh my gosh, look at this food. That about wraps that up. We are going to drive two hours back to Beijing. Um, we're very full. <laughs> And then we're going to shower because that is the most necessary thing that could possibly happen right now. We are back. We made it. 